Hello, survivors, and welcome to another Silly Saturday. In today's video, as you can see, we landed up getting ourselves the Infernal Codex. We actually also got ourselves Tarot Deck. Now, that is fantastic, but we're going to go and see which one of our uh, ascensions we're actually going to get. We're going to see if we are able to get multiple ascension crystals here. If we are, then we will double. Ooh, perfect. All right, so we actually landed up getting two. That means we are going to be able to double ascend both of these. So that's a double whammy for us in today's episode. So that is fantastic. Now, when we are building Infernal Codex, the main stats to look for, are in fact these three over here you want damage projectiles and projectile speed area from what i know my own personal experiences only increases the size of the actual balls and not the size of the ring and the more projectiles you have the bigger the circle is going to get it has nothing to do with the area but i could be completely wrong you are more than welcome to let me know what you think down below in the comment section and if i'm wrong you can let me know down below whether or not i am wrong or right but let's go see what some of these shrines have for us in terms of relics but we were extremely lucky over there and we got a double ascension so that means we are going to be able to double ascend both our tarot deck as well as our infernal codex and get them to do some insane amounts of damage so uh, on the screen now we will have our skill tree or our yggdrasil tree our meta progression to show you what i do with my missing we did put a lot of points into our burning damage uh, just because i was hoping to get uh, either tarot deck or fire codex and the fact that we landed up getting both is just fantastic so really 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 happy with that so we're gonna go we're going to max this out as you can see we are getting like the most amazing rolls ever and we're gonna get that perfect and we are then going to make our way over to the reset so we will double uh, ascend our uh, first weapon again you don't want to uh, ascend it the second time until you have fully leveled it the first time so or well, actually you can't double ascend it straight away anyway because as soon as you click on ascend it's going to then uh, uh, complete uh, the, the restart the leveling process anyway so you can't double ascend straight away now another thing about infernal codex is as you can see over here we have 11 projectiles so when we ascend and we take out a ring the projectiles for outer ring are the same amount as the projectiles that you have for the infernal codex so if you want your outer ring to have even more projectiles the best way to do it is to increase the projectile count of this so as you can see it says 11 fireballs and it goes up to 12 because we got more projectiles so very 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 cool and very nice to look for things like that while you are playing it so as you can see pretty decent ring that we've got now and now we're going to hope for some duration based uh, relics or runes uh, in the shop uh, we will probably go for more duration runes than anything else there isn't really a duration relic in the game yet i say yet because you know nothing is impossible with the developers and just how amazing they are and you know listening and watching to a lot of the things that we say so you know maybe there can be something like that in the future for us but right now there isn't anything in terms of that only really our skill tree and the runes that we can pick up that can help us with the duration um, otherwise very very hard damage as you can see the only thing is the duration again we do want to kind of have as much of it as possible we're going to go for the projectile speed that's going to help us deal more damage because the orbs will spin around around us faster and the faster they spin the more they are going to hit things we are going to grab the attraction fossil over here very good for the early levels definitely going to help us get to our second ascension up and running and finished with that so we can then start working on our um, the turret deck and going from there so let's go see what the kill shrine has for us we've got the mighty bow we'll probably land up selling it we're not going to need any more damage than what we already have we are going to be ripping through enemies 
Luck there is no tomorrow. Ooh, some nice juicy movement speed over there from the wind uh, elemental. Still can't get my head around how gorgeous this map looks and just the amount of hard work that the developers have put into it. But again, this is a silly Saturday, so that's exactly what we're doing over here. We are being extremely silly. Getting some poison, that's pretty good for the turret deck. We will double ascend it again, which will pull us some poison cards as well. So absolutely every single relic that we can pick up that is elemental is going to help us. The only one that might be a little air will be the snowflake. So if we do get it, we'll just remove it because again, that's just clutter on the screen that we don't need. We're going to have enough of that from our uh, fire codex. So let's keep going. Let's go see what we can spend some of our gold on. And again, we're not going to need any other relics. Anything for life wise will probably be good. But other than that, I don't think we are going to need anything over there. Like we don't need to spend our five gold over there. It's not going to help us in any shape or form. So let's go see what the Rage Shrine has for us. Hopefully it has something good. And we can start going over here. Again, we're not really worried about the area. It's more the amount of projectiles as well as the projectile speed. But obviously we are looking for mostly the damage. So we're going to start the double ascension now more damage and the size of the fireballs is now increased as well again let's just get as much damage as possible and everything else after that is just added damage so really really cool as you can see already the fireballs are huge i think we should get more projectiles and the more projectiles we get the better it's going to be so we're not interested in this mushroom so we will sell it once we get it but you know there is that chance of the shrine resetting and giving us something that we might want so you know just for the the, the case of being able to reset it we're not gonna we we will do it we're not gonna do that for the gold shrine because we can find something in the shop that's worth the gold more than what that relic is for us so uh, it's a nice reason to not do it and like i said like you can see over here the shrine reset and we actually get a relic that is helpful towards us because it gives us more life but being on expert difficulty we don't really have to worry too much about uh, life or anything like that i doubt anything is going to get close enough to us to do anything because as you can see uh, our fire is just insanely strong right now. Okay, I don't even know. There we go. Two more enemies to kill. Let's get rid of this. Um, we don't need it. And then we've got what? Cooldown reduction, area of effect. We don't need. We've got some duration over here, which is really nice. Unfortunately, the second duration one is down over here, which isn't the greatest. Uh, so I'm not sure what we're going to be able to do over there, but we do have the Lucky Gnocchi or the Glowing Coin as well. Glowing Coin might be very, very good for us, but we will see how that goes as we keep going. So there's nice damage, and we already on 19 projectiles. And again, like I said, the area of effect only increases the ball size, whereas the projectile amount increases the radius of the circle because it needs to fit more balls into the circle and therefore it's going to keep increasing the size of the circle so as you can see it's nearly already off of the whole screen and the more projectiles we get the the the, the bigger it's going to get so let's try a roll for some projectiles and we will go from there tarot deck is like one of the perfect re-roll or reset items because you actually don't care what you get you're literally going to spam the heck out of it and it's just going to be what it is also i'm going to be because we uh, got our infernal codex first or the fire codex first we're actually going to take uh, the turret decks first ascension and that's going to allow us to get boost more often than not uh, normally if you are playing with turret deck you would get your second ascension first for the double cards but because we've already got the infernal codex for all of the damage we don't need the double carding we need to uh, get the other things first like the boost card just so it starts off earlier and we can get more stats onto our character so the boost card can increase our duration as well as well as our projectile speed as well as damage so very good to grab it it's just going to be extremely helpful for the run and for the build uh, completely so 
let's look for projectiles that's perfect and legendary projectiles as well so now we've got 23 of them and again uh, tarot deck doesn't really matter and as you can see uh, as we increase the projectiles it increased the size of the uh, infernal codex and it's spinning around us so really 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 awesome and again really really strong and now we just need the two crystals from the shop to give us our double ascended codec uh, tarot deck also i might sound a little bit more mellow now than i usually do and that is because we are actually recording this at 11 pm at night you know, I, I was going to go to bed and I decided, hang on, let me try and see if we can quickly get uh, the video done for tomorrow for Silly Saturday. And I'm really happy that I did try it because we landed up getting absolutely everything we wanted to uh, for the actual build to work. And as you can see, we just wrecked that character. We wrecked that boss like there was no tomorrow. So again, because we are running absolutely all of the elemental uh, like you know elemental damage we're going to go for the, all the hearts as well as all of the different potions and you can just see this huge ring around us it is so funny because of the uh the uh, the infernal codex how it just creates that uh, we can take this epic chest because of the upgrades we have on the tree it does give us legendary upgrades and we got a legendary damage upgrade which is so so cool so that's fantastic and we can reroll one more time and we landed up actually getting something pretty decent at least it is a decent uh you know defensive item for us over there so 14 hearts let's go and i mean 14 levels we again we're not really too worried about the damage per se we just want to try and get the boost that comes from it uh, up and running as quickly as possible the only thing that we do need to worry about uh, is going to be like uh, the 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 cooldown over here dropping our uh, duration so if it does do that uh, i think we will have to focus on duration more than cooldown but we'll see what happens having a lower cooldown might be very very strong for the cards as well as for the infernal codex and we just got to see what the negative for this is first before we decide anything else so can't really say oh we're going to get rid of it when we don't even know what the negative is uh, i couldn't even see what the negative was over there so let's just have a look quickly it was attack speed and that is perfect we don't need any attack speed on this it's not going to change anything about the build or how it works so very very good for us over there and we can't afford the other uh, upgrades just yet so we are going to go look over here unfortunately it is the snowflake so we will be getting rid of that it's not really necessary and these new raid shrines are fantastic because they give you uh, so much extra xp that you otherwise wouldn't have had uh, in the run so again gonna go for damage over there there wasn't any projectile amount uh, again prioritizing projectile amount just to make it insanely silly uh, just like our video today where we played with the swords uh, in that case area of effect was uh, the the key for this one we're looking for projectile amount and that's just going to make us uh, into an even sillier build so we can get rid of snowflake before when you used olga's blessing on the snowflake uh, it wouldn't get rid of the snowflake itself so let's see if that has been fixed and yes it has so well done developers that is fantastic and we've got mirror mirror over here uh, do we want it uh, we'll let's get to 99 gold and then we'll grab it uh, but before that we need to get the 99 gold otherwise it's just going to be a bit of a a wastage I mean, we can do it if we really wanted to, but we don't need to get it just yet. Uh, it will be there next run as well, so we could use the gold for runes in the shop if we wanted to do that as well. So maybe, because again, there aren't really going to be anything projectile speed or projectile wise coming from the actual uh, relics. It's more going to be uh, everything else. So we, we're happy to go into the next shop with less gold and uh, come out with the mirror for the next run 
uh, obviously being a lot more gold for before we fight the final boss. But our damage already is so insane, it doesn't really matter if we pick up the mirror or not. It's not going to make missing stronger or weaker. We can just keep going over here, use 5 points over there for even more life. And now we're in a situation where we aren't even going to go and pick, we're not going to go and pick up that other life relic for money. And the reason for that is because we only have 13 hearts left. We're going to spend money on something to only get a one heart instead of two, or it's going to get rid of a blue heart. And we don't really need to, uh, uh, again, we are nearly capped on hearts. So it's not really such a big deal right now whether or not we have that extra heart or not. Unless we land up getting the crystal soul and then it would have maybe made a difference. But otherwise we're in a very strong spot. So let's start resetting over here. Perfect. We again going to go for the expanded deck and then we are going to keep going. Probably cooldown is the most important thing here. But again if we can't really get it it's not the end of the world and we are looking i mean you can see we pull the card out literally nearly immediately and that's just fantastic so burn damage electric damage and poison damage again as you can see poison damage is up there a lot of the time the card that rolls is going to be poison damage and we nearly actually accidentally walked into the magnetite uh, over there and that would have cost us a little bit of skill points not that it's too much of an issue it doesn't really matter whether or not we had them but as you can see uh, tarot deck really doing its work and just the change to it is fantastic especially if you do reset it because you're going to be pulling cards out like crazy so can't wait to double ascend it and see what wave 4 looks like and we're nearly there as well so really 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 fantastic and we've actually got a blue pot over here so let's go grab that and we will grab the mirror now as well because we are so close to 99 gold that we can do it. It's not the end of the world if we miss the 10 or 20 extra gold. Hopefully we'll kill things around the mirror that will give us the gold anyway. So let's see what happens. Okay. We just need to make sure we can kill things fast enough because we don't want the boss to spawn uh, while we are farting the raid uh, shrine because that's just uh, you know extra things that we have to look at although while our fire codex is up we don't really have to look at absolutely anything because we're going to be destroying all of it regardless All right, let's see. Ooh, two projectiles. That's beautiful. And we are on 180 gold. That's fantastic. And, you know, just perfect timing as well. Again, full life. We do have the Ragnar shield. And we just, like, instantly phased that boss. I don't even know where the boss was or where she came from. I do know she was bottom left uh, just because of the screen. But now we're going to be looking at things like grabbing here the epic chest legendary damage for the that for the that for the turret deck and again we're going to go for runes more than anything else we can pick up like the burning damage over here uh, this week it's xp attraction we don't really need that uh, we don't want blue chest we'll only go for legendary or higher duration is going to be fantastic we can grab ourselves the mushrooms because that gives us everything and again the more duration we get the longer the uh the infernal codex is going to last and although the cooldown over here it's 50 percent it's only 10 uh, like 0.1 of a second so we're going to go for the projectiles it's going to make our uh, at, uh the ring for the fire codex even longer or even larger sorry and that's just going to be fantastic again we not, don't need anything over there let's go for the epic chest again and we've got some projectile speed over there that's fantastic and what else can we get over here? Still, yeah, we'll grab the RNG tonic because that could be duration. And it was damage, so that's perfectly fine as well. And we've got more gold over here. That's perfect as well. Even more spending. Give me more chess. Immunity destroyer is amazing over here as well. And that's going to make it so that now we burn everything as well. 
and we can go for the movement speed over there. So we can leave now, that's fantastic. And then for the final shop, uh, we will do everything over there. So great, there we go. It's already on like a 0 0.87. You get more cooldown by just leveling it up than we would have from the ruins. So that works out perfectly fine as well. And we can grab the cooldown over here as well as the duration on the other side over here and we should be fantastic. We're not going to worry about anything else on the tree. We are now just going to focus on looking at getting all our gold back to 99 and then we're going to be looking at hopefully grabbing some boosts from the tarot cards. But as you can see they're literally going to be spawning all the time. Uh, and dealing whack tons of damage. I, I really hope they do do something fantastic uh, in terms of damage, but the Scavenger King is going to have no chance of living. They go dead already uh, in a couple of seconds. We just had to get the ring to kind of uh, land on his body and he gets destroyed. So anything on the outside is going to get uh, completely annihilated. Uh, you can see we're going to do so much burning damage and we apply so much burning damage because we've got the immunity destroyer now and we are in such an insane place and it just feels so good to be like this walking fire tornado I guess is the, the best way of putting it because nothing can come close to us and even if they do we've got the defenses from that uh, Ragnar shield so really 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 strong really really good build really fun to do Ragnarok with as well because you just absolutely decimate everything and again you don't even need the projectile speed you just I mean the area of effect you just need yourself projectile speed as well as the amount of projectiles and damage so in case you didn't know that now you do that it's actually the projectiles that increase the size of the ring around fire codex and not the actual uh, size or area of effect if you did go area of effect the fire would be larger but the ring itself would still be the same size I could be wrong but I'm pretty sure I'm 100% I'm, I'm certain of uh, being right over there in terms of how it works I have done my my fair share of playing with the fire codex and I'm, I'm I'm pretty certain that's how it works so if I'm I'm wrong there I will be super amazed but maybe there's someone that's played a lot more fire codex than me that you know they eat breathe and sleep fire codex and they can let me know down in the comment section whether I am right or wrong or maybe it's a a combination of the two but I'm, I'm pretty sure it makes a lot of sense even though it shouldn't make sense even though area of effect should increase the area of effect of the radius or something like that uh, it's actually the amounts of projectile not the area of effect area of effect makes it so that they can hit more enemies at one time because they're bigger balls but it doesn't increase the ring size would be cool if there was a way to make it so you could lose projectiles so you could test it but uh, I don't know there's no way of doing it maybe something with the new challenge mode will bring it like maybe some of the challenges are going to be like you lose uh, projectiles every so often but as you could see there we did pick up some projectiles and you could visibly see the ring grow so I I'm definitely right I don't know why I'm even doubting myself I know I'm right Alright, so we are nearly there on the final boss, and we are in a fantastic spot. Let's just get to 99 gold, just because, you know, we can. So why not? And uh, let's go, 93, come on. I'm sure we'll be able to get to the gold before the time is up. Maybe if we grab the gnocchi first, that would have gone a lot faster, but it doesn't really matter too much pop that we've got our Helga's LT going I mean the tarot deck going off all the time as well so that's giving us some uh, healing as well every time we do get hit we will be healed practically because the chances of hitting the heart or the cure is pretty high especially when tarot deck is going off all of the time so here's plus one projectile as well we're gonna grab that because why not 
and it's just going to help us anyway so fantastic that is everything and we are going to destroy our laser boss over here we probably don't even need to move we'll move a little bit up and down or to the side if we stay in the middle we should be in a really good spot i mean we've already phased him over there we didn't even get hit where we're standing so that's very interesting uh, I don't know how the beam works exactly, but uh, you know, look, we can stand still. He did hit us over there, but even if he does hit us, we have enough lives to live through his phases and bam, instantly dead. And that was that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the damage done by the Infernal Codex and what it looks like. And I hope you may have learned a thing or two more about it and uh, if you enjoyed the video, please remember to subscribe if you haven't, like the video down below and let me know what we should do next time on a Silly Saturday video. And always remember, keep safe survivors. Until next time, cheers.